Do you believe in life after death? Well, they say when someone's death is so tragic and sudden, like a fatal accident or a murder, that their souls become restless and are unable to move on to the great beyond. Well, this next story is about a woman who was murdered. And her soul became so restless, she wandered the earth and haunted her friends until she supposedly solved her very own murder from beyond the grave. Want to know more? Well then, subscribe! And then stay tuned for this episode of Peculiar Occurrences. Teresita Besa was born in the Philippines in 1929. She later immigrated to the United States during the 1960s and grew up to become a respiratory therapist in Chicago, Illinois. She was known to be a quiet, quaint woman who mostly stayed to herself. She did, however, have a boyfriend and lived alone and lived a relatively normal life. Then on February 21st, 1977, the fire department was called to her home to put out a fire. They found a mattress on fire in her living room, but under the fire they found Miss Besa naked with a butcher knife shoved through her chest. The investigators at first thought that this was a sexual assault crime of some nature, and then she had been murdered and that the mattress had been set on fire to try to cover up the sexual assault. But later, during her autopsy, it was found that she had not been sexually assaulted. The fire had destroyed any sort of viable evidence. The only evidence that the police could find was a little posted note that said, Get A.S. Theater Tickets. Miss Besa had supposedly gotten into an argument with her boyfriend, so he quickly became the main suspect. Though he was later cleared, and all other leads led to a dead end. Then more than five months after Miss Besa had been murdered, a co-worker and friend who was also from the Philippines named Remy Chua and her husband Joe showed up at the police station with a very peculiar story. They had claimed to have information about Miss Bass's murder that they were not sure the police would believe. They ended up telling detectives that shortly after Miss Besa was murdered that the wife, Remy, had started receiving visions of Miss Besa coming to her in her dreams, begging for her to go to police and tell them what had happened to her. According to Joe, Remy had started talking to him in her sleep, but in someone else's voice, a voice that sounded like Miss Besa, and told him that she was Theresita Besa, and that her killer's name was Alan Showery. The voice claimed that Alan was a orderly at the hospital that she worked at. Then she urged Joe to go to the police. However, when Remy woke up, she claimed to have absolutely no memory of the event. Joe decided at first not to go to police. He, I mean, he had absolutely no evidence to back these claims. So later on, the voice of Miss Besa possessed his wife a second time and asked him why he had not gone to the police. And upon explaining that he had no evidence to back these claims, she ended up telling him that Alan had stolen her jewelry and given it to his common law wife and that she was still in possession of this jewelry. Well, the detectives didn't know what to think about such outlandish claims, but they did decide to do a background check on Alan Showery, since after all, his initials did match the letters on the notepad that said get AS theater tickets. He ended up finding that Alan had quite 
the rap sheet and that he lived rather close to Miss Besa. The detective ended up asking around about him and talking to co-workers. His co-workers ended up confirming that Alan was actually supposed to go to Miss Besa's house that evening and fix her television set. So Alan was brought in for questioning and he admitted that yes he did go over there to fix her television set but he didn't have the right tools to actually fix it so he went back home. The detective did not believe his story so he ended up tracking down Alan's common law wife and asking her if he had gifted her any jewelry in the last few months. Turned out he had. So he ended up talking her into allowing Miss Bass's friends and family to examine the jewelry to see if any of it belonged to Miss Basa. And it turns out some of it did. Alan Showery was then brought back in, and upon being confronted with the jewelry, he ended up confessing to the murder, telling detectives that after he went home, he made a plan to come back to rob Miss Basa. And when he came back, she did allow him in. And when she turned around to lock the door, he grabbed her and attacked her, pulled off her robe to make it look like a sexual crime, but did not do anything to her sexually. He then stabbed her and laid her underneath the mattress and caught it on fire and robbed her. This became one of the first trials in history where the main witness was a woman possessed by a ghost. Due to this, at trial, Alan ended up pleading not guilty, even though he had confessed, saying that a ghost, a woman possessed by a ghost, is inadmissible. And this all led to a mistrial. Then against the advice of his attorneys, in 1979, Alan did eventually end up pleading guilty to his crimes. He was then sentenced to 14 years in prison, the minimum amount someone can get for murder, but later ended up getting out on parole in 1983, while the body of Miss Besa was sent back to her family in the Philippines. So what do you think about this peculiar occurrence. Do you think that Remy could have really been possessed by the spirit of Miss Besa? Or perhaps since she also worked at this hospital and she was Miss Besa's friend, maybe she seen Alan's wife and recognized the jewelry that she was wearing and was afraid to come forward with this information in any other way. Either way, I want to know what you think about this in the comments below. Also, Peculiar Squad, we recently reached 1,500 subscribers, yeah, because you guys are peculiar and awesome, yeah, so our next go is now 2,000, so do me a favor, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this, let's reach our go of 2,000 subscribers, share this out, we gotta get this out there and reach that go, come on guys, let's work this. And, oh, while you're here, don't forget to like this video and hit that little bell button so you always know when I upload. And until next time, keep your eyes peeled for all things peculiar. Do 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 That was a really creepy and strange one. Peculiar. I like that one. Did you like that one? I like that one. Let me know down below. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.